Okay, so now today we are going to talk about the Arduino. Actually, today we are going to talk. We are going to talk about Arduino Uno. Actually, all right. So you can see uh, there's a board. This is called the Arduino Uno board, and uh, you can see this is a PCB. Actually, all right. This is how fully controlled by IC and here you can see it and you can see in the upper part there are the digital pins this is a ref ground 13 12 and it goes on up to zero and it also consists of um, PW pins and TX and RX actually in this board 1 and 0 is used as TX and RX but in a mega board we, we get TX1, TX2 like that many for RX even so anyway you can see here the ISP pins we can connect some servers even to here and you can see in the back uh, it's called uh, the board model is Uno R3 and uh, it's made in Italy and it's all highlighted in the back side and uh, you can see this pin sorry uh, this is the set of analog pins it comes with 0 to 5 analog pins and when we see there are six analog pins, all right. So in a mega board and a nano board, usually the nano board consists of seven analog pins, and mega board consists of many analog pins, all right. So uh, you can see these are the power pins, all right. That means we can give the power and take out the power, all right. So first we we'll see in here, it's it's reset and there are two pins all right that's not necessary actually uh, then it's 3.3 volts actually that pin is there and 5 volt and ground and again ground and vin okay so 3.3 uh, volt means you know actually it gives out 3.3 volts we can use it for a bluetooth module okay i will show you a bluetooth module this is a bluetooth module actually okay so uh, you can see in here make it a little bit here for you okay so it's clear huh? anyway uh, the first pin is dead and second pin is 3.3 volt okay anyway that's not actual 3.3 volt we can give here 5 volts even especially for the rx pin uh, this is given as 3 volts but most of the ones have given as 3.5 uh, or 3.3 or somewhere around that and in here it's 5 volts and ground and TX so EN to M pin is in here and usually we don't use these two pins and in H this is actually it's 0 or 6 all right so H0 5 also consists of soldered pins in here this board this board and so also and uh, nothing to say about this more and uh, get you all to the board again and as i talked about five volts can be used to light up a led by a resist actually and those kinds of outputs can be given by this and two ground pins ground means the terminal the negative terminal actually all right? and this is actual positive this is negative these two are positive these two are negative okay that's the main 
tin in this ball and as say v i n if we talk about v i n we can say that it takes power it's a input actually input and output both we can even get power from here if we plugged in here or here okay so if you plugged in here or here we can get the output all right from the win pin vin pin and if we didn't plug it we can even give the positive terminal of a battery or or else any power supply to here and the negative terminal to the ground pin and then we can see the Arduino owner board on so uh, that's all in this board and I'll tell you these two ports about these two ports this is used to upload the code into this ICO board and this is a power jack we can put we can give a power supply from here and uh, this is a reset button we can reset that means we can start the process the void the, the void loop thing again by pressing this one all right so actually to work on this one we should upload a code and we should get many uses of this one and this actually this is like uh, like a brain actually a very 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 complicated thing all right so i'll talk about the devices that we can plug in this one all right before that i'll show the arduino nanobot also for you guys uh, this one you can see all right this is i see okay this port and this port is somewhat crazy all right so uh, you can see it doesn't have a power jack all right okay so you can see the back this can be fixed to a breadboard and we can take out outputs and inputs all right so the same thing as this board all right as this board the same thing is there this whole series this board are in the series of Arduino and I have the mega board but I have used it so I'll show it later for you guys and that's all to tell about this board okay so uh, I'll keep up this all okay so uh, now I will take a device actually this is not a device this is used to control okay so you can see here it's actually like a joystick it's not the like joystick this is a joystick all right so you know that these are used to play games and many things all right so these are the pins in here we can connect this to this board right not like this i just and you can see this can be used to control a bluetooth car or something else even a robotic car those kind of things and Okay, this is another device I showed this before the Bluetooth device okay so these are some devices and I show another device okay so the stepper motor stepper motor is used to make uh, mainly to make some robotic cars or like those things and for robotic car uh, actually uh, Robotic arm um, around six motors will be used to make it six stepper motors actually. You can see there are five wires, alright, five wires, and you can see in the back side of this five volt DC stepper motor. Actually, it's stepper motor anyway, alright. So so 
to fix this to the Arduino board we use a module all right this is the module this is also a PCB right so these are plugged in here I just show you all right so like this it's plugged in and these are the ones this is the one that goes for the battery or the power supply and these are the ones that goes to the Arduino board all right these are the things all right and these are the things so uh, that's all yeah that's what i see in here yeah. this is also actually like Arduino board isn't it okay so i'll show another thing actually we can use this just without the Arduino board here yeah. we are using this mainly for the Arduino board yeah. so this is a potentiometer or a pot meat actually pot something <laughs> right so this is mainly a variable resistor all right so we can see the inside of this turning all right this is the potentiometer turning inside this one and so uh, i'll show another one actually okay so this side so power buttons these are mainly used also in arduino boards to the reset button actually this is used all right okay so now another one is the ir all right so the ir can be used to control a robot car actually uh, we can control it using a remote the robot car right so um, you can see this is a mp3 remote special for mp3 it's mentioned in here and we can define these buttons and we can press this one then it will go forward like that okay so that's all i think oh no there are many all right so i'll show another thing okay so these two okay these are used to show the time or show any data actually you can use this to show any data like the period that that we have used or something anyway anything all right so uh, these are displays all right so you can see the back side it's nothing mentioned but in here the model is mentioned all right so this also can be connected to the Arduino or we can make a just a circuit by this one all right so next is one of the main thing relay module this is a one relay module all right uh, we can use this to take the ac counting and give out the dc counting this is used actually mainly to the power of Arduino board all right we use this as like as giving the power to the Arduino board all right mainly we use more than one or two relays in this module all right so i have showed you the first relay module actually we can take this whole all the modules that i showed you by the arduino starting all right so i bought it and i got this thing so, um, yep so i think oh no a breadboard all right a breadboard as i told you we can fix this all 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 the modules to this one and you can give and we can get these to here here means the Arduino board by jumpers all right that thing also is by breadboard and if i tell you all how the breadboard is working if we put one pin actually see 
for example we put a 5, five volt pin in here and the what do you call the power supply actually the power supply goes like this and it stops in here all right so this breadboard is actually fixed like this all right see see it's fixed like that all right so it's fixed sorry my phone fell down all right the video all right so anyway uh, this one okay, you can see okay so we can fix it again and there's a double tape to fix okay so the power goes from in this row or column an actual row in this row the power goes from this side all right in this one even this side all right so in this column and you can take it that row all right so it's mentioned as plus and minus okay so it goes like this and goes like this all right in some breadboards it stops in the middle of it it means the breadboard all right in here so we can connect these two again and the boss okay so that's all i think yes that's all and hope you enjoy and i also hope that you learned something about arduino okay so before i before I end up this video, I'll tell you something, alright? Something means something useful. Okay, so in the, the actual this is the first video of Arduino in my channel, alright? So so you can see the Arduino Uno board, alright? So uh, we can use this to make a robo actually that's the main target all right not a robo actually mainly some useful things all right so useful things and in the other videos upcoming videos i'll specially specially show you those kind of things and that is one of my promise at the end of this video and thank you please comment below and please comment below and also please subscribe and if you have any doubt please comment and i'll give you the answer all right so thank you for watching